Hello, welcome to Camera Dennis. My name is Dennis Hanson, and in today's video, we're going to take a closer look at the NOS X500 Boom Arm Kit. I picked up this kit for about 35 euros during a Black Friday sale at Gigante. We're going to do uh, some unboxing right now, so let's get into it. So here we are in the top view of the microphone. We start with opening the box to see what's inside. So inside the box we have two pop filters, one foam pop filter and one nylon windscreen. So here's the pop filter, the foam one, and then we have the nylon pop filter, looks like this. And then we have the manual with some pages in it, can be helpful. And then we have the boom arm inside the box. and then. Underneath the layer 2 we have the shock mount for the microphone fully made of plastic with plastic Shredding Not sure about that. Then we have the 180 centimeter microphone rocking a micro USB to USB A and then we have the clamp for the table to mount the boom arm in and then we have the main piece the microphone itself the NOS X500 That was the unboxing part of the video. If you have unboxed your parts as well and want to follow along how to mount the boom arm kit, you can do that as well. We will jump into that right now. Hello, you start by opening the clamp. We have some soft cushion and we have the clamp and we put it on the table and we screw it on. Safe and sound, take it easy. Don't over tighten it, open the clamp screw for the bottom of the boom arm and then just insert this boom arm in that space like this. And then we tighten that screw down there and then we move on to the shoulder of the boom arm. Loosen every screw so we can work with the mount as you like so you get the perfect angles. I take away this in order to put it in the like this so I don't over tighten the plastic shreddings just with a little bit of thumb power and then I put, insert it back in the boom arm like so and I tighten this a little bit but not too hard and then guide the U micro USB through the shock mount and I grab the microphone and insert it and I match it so I don't break the USB port and I put it back in like so and then we tighten this so it sits perfectly in the shock mount and then we insert the USB cable and the windows should recognize this immediately and here we go this is the way to set the microphone up the microphone comes with zero latency monitoring, which is turned on automatically when the mic is plugged in. You can disable the zero latency monitoring by pressing the volume knob to mute. When I tried to connect a TRRS gaming headset, the microphone internal jack made a horrible sound of digital distorted noise and I thought I had shortened the microphone. So I unplugged and plugged it back in and it all went back to normal. So when you plug the microphone in for the first time, this is what it sounds like. We're going to do some adjustments to make it sound a little bit better. So let's stay tuned. It has a decent volume, but if I get really loud and talk loudly, I clip a little bit. I can see that here in the meter and that's not so good. So we're going to try to get rid of that. I'm doing that by going into sound settings. Right click there, so I open it up and then I go to recording device and here we have the microphone. The microphone is here and then we go into properties and then we go into levels and in the levels here I can decrease the gain so I don't clip down here. So this is the microphone's input level that is very loud here on the meter. If I get really loud I, I probably clip. It looks like that at least. So we, we, we want to take down the gain 
up here in the, my, uh, on my microphone on the NOS X500 until we get around minus 25 or 50 between here somewhere we're gonna we're gonna get minus here so I'm gonna try, try to talk loudly and see where I'm at like okay so if I get loud I'm still here okay so for me okay let's stay at 50 just even it out now I'm quite low but ho uh, hopefully I'm not clipping clipping I might be popping though with the P's and T's and whatnot but uh, let's uh, press OK there and OK there. And then we're going to go into advo uh, not, uh, uh, filters. Let's put up some filters here. And I already prepared the filters here. So what we're going to need is a gain first in the chain. This is the chain here. We have gain. So we go down to plus and then you add a gain. And that gain you set to 17 dB and then we have a compressor and the compressor looks like this you can pause the video here so we can take the numbers mm, you can also watch a video from podcastage I will link that in the video down below in the description very helpful video and also a video I will link a video about the VB art virtual audio cable as well so all the settings we are doing right now here uh, and we're gonna put in a limiter as well and I'm gonna you can pause here as well and take the numbers and they're not activated yet so this is with the gain this is with the compressor and this is with the limiter so now this is what your new settings will sound sound like so if you want these kind of settings to be audible for your friends in discord or skype or zoom or wherever you might be you just go in here to settings and you go into audio and here you see my Behringer for example this is where I'm listening at right now but this is the microphone so pick the make sure to pick the right microphone so you're not adjusting like a webcam or something else in this all this stuff I have here uh, but we go down to advanced and we have monitoring device and here you pick your audio cable VB or virtual audio cable as a monitoring device and when you have that set up like this in 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 this place right here you can uh, by going into settings in uh, the advanced audio properties here down here at the in OBS you can uh, choose to listen to uh, monitor and output here you can and then you monitor and output and now when you pick uh, these uh, devices in every software you want to use it in, you just pick the audio, virtual audio cable device as an input device. So that becomes like your new microphone, so to speak. Okay, I'm back from the previous segment and I am here to check out the new three band equalizer that is quite new for OBS, at least new for me. So let's see if we can even get this mic to sound a little bit better just a tiny bit I, i'm not sure it's going to be anywhere near good but i might even it might even be worse so let's get into filters oh hold on i want to listen to myself first so like now for example now i have my headphones in my uh connected to my uh to my Behringer so I'm gonna choose to listen to Behringer as a thing so now I hear myself double just to give me so myself a little bit um, help to hear myself how it sounds like with the three band equalizer so what about highs 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 one two one two oh what's that? lows oh my god high 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 mid 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 low lows lows hello one two three 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 hello 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 one two three i'm just gonna do the happy face maybe maybe that's the way to go uh, i'm gonna pick audio cable so now we're back to so this is with three band equalizer and this is without with three band equalizer so this is with three band equalizer, equalizer with three band. And this is without three band equalizer, without three band equalizer it is. I don't know if there's any big difference, 
but maybe I can go back and listen if I like this or not. What do you think? Write a comment down below in the comment section and we, you can, you can fiddle around with this uh, as much as you like. Um, yeah, okay. So that, that this was the three band equalizer. See you in the next bit. Ah, and also uh, one quick reminder. Remember guys, eat the mic. When making this video, this microphone just got on sale in Finland, Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. If this kit is on discount, I would say you could go for it. But for the full price of like 80 euros, I don't think it has the value to defend itself in that category. However, you need to be careful with all the parts around here because everything is made of plastic and the shreddings inside the, the shock mount, I'm not sure about how long this will last. But for the price of 35 euros, that's a risk I would be willing to take. And that was the video. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked, uh, please leave a like or subscribe to the channel for more videos to come. And my name is Dennis Hanson and you have been watching a video from Camera Dennis. See you when I see you. Bye! Camera Dennis. Prime quality since 1982.